All right. So that's the law of diminishing marginal utility. That marginal utility tends to diminish with increased consumption. Let me present a puzzle. And let's see if we can apply the concept of diminishing marginal utility to that puzzle. All right? And I want to talk about vending machines. <coughs> We're going to talk about sodas versus newspapers. What is the deal with the soda vending machine? What happens? Put money in, you get a soda out of it. You take your change, you put your change <coughs> in the slot. You push a button, a soda comes out. How many sodas come out? One. Once you put your money in and you push the button, is it possible to get more than one soda? Not regularly. Unless the machine's broken or something, right. Okay. What about a newspaper vetting machine? How does that work? You put your money in there, get as many papers as you want to see. Uh, put my money in. All right, you're saying as many as I want. But if people don't do that. That's the point. It's the point that people don't do that. All right, let's say two soda machines on the street, or two vending machines on the street and sold them. A soda vending machine and a newspaper vending machine. Both say 50 cents. All right? I put my 50 cents in here, I get a Royal Crown Cola or whatever I want. Put my 50 cents in here, I get a Silver Herald, and I'm incredibly dissatisfied, but that's another issue. All right? Put my 50 cents in here. Push a button, out comes a soda, and I can only get one soda. If I want another soda, I have to put my money in. Put my money in a newspaper vending machine. You guys, I heard people talking about it. What do you do? You open it up, and there's a big stack of newspapers all sitting there. You only need one. I can, if I want, take, take all of them, right? But what's the issue? <coughs> WD is saying, but you only need one. Your one is supplied with a single newspaper. Well, what about sodas? No, I'm maybe. thirsty. I have a soda. I'm, I'm not. I'm not so thirsty anymore. Let's apply this concept of diminishing margin utility. The idea is that the margin utility of a second newspaper is what? At we're very near zero. Zero. Okay. For me personally, it's negative. I'm tired of throwing newspapers out as it is the way they clutter everything up, I really don't want another one. Now maybe that day you have a paper mache project to do, right? Or you have a lot of birds. But generally speaking, for most people, the margin utility of the second newspaper, very, very low. Margin utility of a second soda. Maybe not as high as the first soda. Maybe, maybe it's just as high. But definitely very high compared to the margin utility of a second newspaper, okay? That's a nice illustration of diminishing margin utility and how for different goods it diminishes at different rates. All right? It's not because we are more honorable people when we buy newspapers than we are when we buy sodas. All right? There's a reason the soda machine is set up like this. Okay? If you put your money in a soda machine and open the door, if it unlocked the door and you open the door and all the sodas were sitting there nice and cold, what would most of you do? Yeah, you might grab more than one. How many? Depends on how big your coat is, right? <laughs> Depends on how many pockets you've got, whether your book bag's handy. All right? What about newspapers? Do you really ever grab more than one? Why is that? Some people want to say, well, it's because sodas, sodas are valuable and newspapers are cheap. But I just gave an example where the newspaper's 50 cents, the soda's 50 cents. What's the deal? You're willing to pay 50 cents for this. You're willing to pay 50 cents for this. The issue is margin and utility. You're not willing to pay 50 cents or maybe even 25 cents for a second newspaper. But lots of people are willing to pay 50 cents for a second soda. Okay? The people who run the soda vending machine, who, who, own, the, who own that vending machine, benefit from charging per unit. Newspaper vending machine, not so much. They know that most people are not going to take more than one paper. They just don't need more than one. Okay?
That's one illustration.